Hello from Coleman and Company. Today I'm trying to show you a couple detailed settings that you can do to edit any design that comes in. I'm actually going to show you a couple do's and don'ts in tracing a design, but I'll help you get started with using your software. So today I'm going to pull up a design that one of my customers generously allowed me to use. And uh, remember when you're uploading, I saved an item to my desktop. Notice it's not listed. However, if you go down here and you allow all file types, no matter whether you saved it as a bitmap or any other, you'll be able to upload it easily, okay? What not to do? Notice that this design, when you select it, is 1.4 inches by 1.7 inches. This is really tiny. When you trace a design, let me show you what something so small ends up doing that's unhelpful for you, okay? So you have your design. We're going to zoom in because it's that small. Get a little closer, up and personal. Okay. Notice that you've got a lot of your, um, right here, you're, you're seeing a lot of the pixels, okay? That's too tiny. When you are doing a trace, even if you have it adjusted to the right settings, as you can see, I took off the high pass filter. This one's got most of the details, and I know it can separate those colors. But notice that even if I do get it pretty close, like that, if I hit trace and I pull it away, it is rough. Notice that things like the sharp edges of this corner are now rounded. It, it's not a good enough duplication in my opinion. So I'm going to go ahead and select this, um, this image that's been copied. I'll show you a full screen here. Okay. Notice that you've got the two different images. I'm going to select the one I want to get rid of. I just hit delete on my uh, keyboard here. We're going to make this a more reasonable size to trace. Okay. So here I'm going to make it much larger. I like using all the space they give me. If you can, try. I'm going to go ahead and select the trace area now on this much bigger design. Same image, just a lot more details. And notice this. Let me zoom in. A lot less pixels. Things are need to be cleaned up a little bit, but not like it was before. So I'm going to also turn off the high pass filter. Gosh, that practically did it perfectly. I'm, I'm still going to tweak it a little bit, though. Here we go. I want it to really be nice, clean lines, like that. That's going to be clean. Watch when I trace. You've got sharp corners. If they're not sharp enough, don't be shy. You, this is the time you get where the work is being done for you, okay? So take advantage of it. I'm going to do it one more time. I'm going to be a little bit even pickier. I want those corners to be as sharp as possible. All right, so I'm going to turn off the high pass filter again. I'm going to zoom in so I can get up close and personal with my design. And I'm going to tweak it a little bit. Let's see where the happy spot is. Let's see. That is actually, I like it right on the cusp, right there. I think that's going to give me what I want. Move it here. A lot better. Perfect. I see a lot of the lines that I wanted. There might be things that I'd want to erase and tweak. So now since I have this, on the design, the customer that I was speaking to, she wanted this nail to be removed. She loves the design, not crazy about the nail. So I'm going to show you how to be able to do this as quickly as possible. Now since I have the trace that makes me proud, I'm going to move this to the side. So if I need to reference it, it's easily accessible. Okay? I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here. I'm going to get up close. I'm going to show you a couple of things. So when you're deleting items, you can do a couple different options. We're going to get really close to this nail because that's where I'm doing most of my work today. And let's have a look at it. So there are a couple options. Number one, you can select an item that you want to delete by double clicking. As you can see, if you double click, it pulls up all the points. These points are your adjustable point. You can edit these points, as you see here. I'm going to show you what a couple of these mean because it will really make your life a lot easier. So you can do a couple things. Number one, you can select something and hit delete when you want, uh, let's say, a point here. You can either delete around the whole thing. Some people find this is helpful, especially when they're trying to follow where it goes. Okay. You can also, uh, when you're talking here, since this is outside of your line, and this is a popular question, when you're looking at your design in, in whole, these tools, the eraser right here and the knife, are trying to help you do as accurate or as close as you can by keeping in line, uh, keeping in mind that you need to have lines in order to cut it with the studio. Okay, so your vinyl cutter needs the lines. So when you use something like the eraser, let me show you what happens here. If you erase it, nothing. Why? You erased it with the eraser like it should, 
but it didn't need to compensate with a line. Let me show you what would happen if I use it for anything but something that's unattached. If I were to use it, let's say, here with the axe blade, look what it did. It took what I erased and created a line. It said, okay, they don't want anything there, but we'll make a line to go around it. Let me take it a step further. Notice that it closed it. It completely took it out. Now, that is, again, the system trying to protect you from not having something that's weedable. Okay, and remember, weeding is removing the vinyl that you do not want on the design. I'm going to make it go back because I do want that axe to look nice. Let me show you what the knife does. Let's say you wanted to cut this in half and wanted it to be a nice crisp line. You could create your line and you can make it as obviously that's perfectly straight up and down. And notice what it did. It made very clear, concise, closed cuts. Okay. Again, taking advantage of that line, something you can utilize if you need to separate your design, make something a different color, which we'll show you in a different video. But just so you understand what these tools do. In the event that you're trying to remove something a little bit trickier, Okay, so I did that. Let's go down here and take a look at this nail and finish it up, okay? It really won't take long since we know what we're doing. I'm going to show you so that you can do it just as quickly, okay? When you're selecting it, this one I'm going to utilize the eraser because why not? It works well with this one. I can do it, so I'm going to do it. I erased it. If it leaves anything like this, don't worry. It's fine. What it's trying to do is it's trying to fill the area that I left. Perfect. It's gone. There's nothing there. That was me erasing around the edge of the circle and what was left in the middle is what it was trying to finish a line with. So keep that in mind when you're using the eraser. It is going to try to leave whatever you didn't technically erase, okay? In this particular part of the concept, we're going to look at the actual points. When you're editing something like this where it looks a little complicated, make it easier on yourself by having a better understanding of your points. Let me show you what I mean. If you double click on a line, you'll have these points that you can manipulate and twist. If you haven't played with them, I highly encourage you to. Note that sometimes you'll get angles that you have only one lever for to twist and alter. Some of them, let's see if I can find one with two. Oh, here. How about this? I'm going to make two. I'm going to create a smooth one. If you notice, when I hit smooth, it created two. What it does is it creates a curve. It's always trying to be smooth, hence the word smooth. If you use the word corner, although you'll still have two levers, notice that when it twists one, it only adjusts one side. That way you can make a nice sharp corner if you need to, just depending on what you need for your design, okay? So a better understanding of what these points do when you ma manipulate them will help you, okay? If you select a point, and I'm going to actually use this one. If you select this point and you want it to connect to this point without having to edit all of this, make it easier on yourself break the path. What that does is it creates this red dot. This red dot is technically made up of two broken paths. The part that's connected to this line and the part that's connected to this line. Let me show you. If you grab one end, figure out first of all which one it's connected to. This one ah, is this line. You see? So you keep it here. This one, however, can you can connect it to any given point as long as it's a round dot as well. Okay? So let me give you an example. This dot, I want to connect to this dot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, this one's highlighted. I'm going to select break path. Now I've got another red dot, okay? I'm going to separate to figure out which one's connected to which. I'll go ahead and make this tie up to something. And this one I will connect to my line that I'm trying to keep consistent. Now it's one consistent line. Now notice that there's a lot of little complications going on here. It's kind of swirling around. Let's just make this as easy as possible and keep using that point breaks and we'll erase everything else. So for example, this one, I will select this dot here. I will break the path. I will tell it, okay, so this line, I'm going to come back to this one. I'll put here so I know where it is. This one right there. I'm going to break this path and create this dot. Let's see which one's here. Perfect. So I'll connect these two. I'll edit that in a minute. Notice there's a little bit of a of line to it. We can always straighten that out later, but let, let's finish closing up our design. This one will connect here. Now, let's tidy this up so it's a little easier for us to take it in. If we actually delete the points, okay? These points, as you highlight them, you can delete them, okay? So I'm going to delete this point because it's complicated. I'm going to delete this point because it's complicated. Okay. So what we can do is a couple things. We can delete additional points. Notice that if you have a point and you don't want it there, 
If you hit delete, it'll get rid of it for you. Likewise, if you want a point, select on the line and it will create a point for you, okay? This one's excessive, this one's unnecessary, and so is this one, okay. So let's make them a nice straight line. I need to adjust it, I'll lower it just a smidge, okay? This one looks like it's supposed to be carried on from here, so I'm gonna take advantage of that point break. I'm gonna go here, I'll select break path, I will select this red dot and tell me which one it gives me. Okay, it gave me the bottom one, no problem, I'll put that over here. I'll connect this here. Oh, now if you do that and you're like, it's not clicking, why is it not clicking? Remember, red dots connect to red dots, okay? So we're gonna break this path. We'll create the second dot. Let's see, click here. All right, I'm gonna connect this one here and this one here. Okay, so now I've got a closed design. I'm gonna delete this because I don't like it. I'm gonna straighten that out a little bit to kind of go with the designs idea. There we go. Now this, same thing. If you don't like the points, make them what you want them to be. This is your artwork. You get the choice to tweak these as much as you want. I feel like a lot of these dots are unnecessary, so I'm gonna go ahead and erase them. And just make sure it's going the right way. I'm gonna go with these dots here. Notice this is trying to go, trying to go clockwise, so I'm gonna be more selective which ones I'm telling it to delete, okay? There we go. And this one, I'll delete this one too. It's a little, a little too much for me. All right, so if I wanna make this more of a straight line, I can always delete this point that's highlighted and I can always extend this further. Remember, if you play with the manipulation, you'll get an idea that it, it pulls to wherever the dot's the closest to. Think of them like magnets, okay? And then this one, I'll delete. This one is unnecessary. I'll delete this one too. And then this one I'll extend to make it curve a little better. I might move that up. All right, so now if we zoom out, you can see a lot of points, but if you zoom out and you have a look at it, I've completely erased that that dot was there. On a, Also, a great note actually to bring up right now is if you are working with something where these lines are a little close and you're afraid of it, it's okay, I'll, I'll show you one last trick of today and then we'll we'll adjust this with the future videos on future topics but remember too when you are selecting your design notice that it's made little squares around each thing each thing means it's a movable part let me show you right now it's as one item right so it's as one item if you want to be able to break them apart you would right click and say release compound path. That means now they are all independent pieces, like pieces of a puzzle. So if I were to take this and say, no, I don't want it to be that high, I want it to be a little lower, or gosh, I might want it to be a little longer, you have options to make these tweaks, okay? Now to put them back together, don't forget if you're moving your artwork, you need to compound it back together, okay? Is go ahead and highlight all of them Make sure not to leave anything out because now each of those are independent pieces, okay? Right click it, make compound path, and you've got artwork that's consistently one piece again.